Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem on the board quickly. Let's go there. Thank you. Okay, so we have k squared equal to 16 over k squared. Um, solution. We have k squared equal to 16 over k squared. Do not think that this can cancel each other, okay? The first thing you're going to do is to cross multiply so that we have k squared multiply by k squared to be equal to 16. And then from here, since we are having the same base, we are going to add the power and pick one of the bases. So k will be equal to 2 plus 2. And then we have this to be equal to 16. I can add this, k to power 4 is now equal to 16. And then from here, remember the question says we should solve it completely. That means we should have all the roots. And do not forget, if you have um, fourth root like this, I mean if you have, um, what's the name, if you have um, a cubic equation like this, you're going to have four roots or four answers to the problem. So we must have four solutions to this. Now this is what we do. The first thing is that um, we'll have to say this, k to power 4 minus 16 is equal to 0. So that's from here, we can now say that um, we will break it down to use what we call difference of two squares because this is the same thing as k2, I mean k to power 2 squared minus 4 squared equal to 0. Now we have squares in both of them, we can apply difference of two squares. And when applying difference of two squares, you're going to use both positive and negative. So if I want to do that, I will say k squared plus 4 into bracket k, my, k squared minus 4. Okay, I've used both positive and negative. So the squares are no longer there. Then this will be equal to 0. Look at that very well. So from here, we can now say that it's either this is equal to 0 or this one here is equal to 0. I'm going to answer it here. Let's get started. Okay, this is actually very simple. Watch the way I will do it now. So I'm going to pick this first. Now say k squared is, okay, k squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, and from here, do not forget that I can take this to the other side. So I have k squared is equal to minus 4. And then what I need to do now is to take the square root of both sides. So I'm going to have square root of k squared to be equal to positive or negative square root of minus 4. I'm picking this. I'm dealing with only this one now. Okay, positive or negative square root of minus 4. And then when you're looking for square root of a negative number, you're going to have what we call complex number. Okay, remember that this can cancel this and our k now will be equal to positive or negative. If you find the square root of minus 4, you're going to have 2i because of the negative. So from here, we have now got two values for the equation. We have that k is equal to plus 2i or minus 2i. These are the two roots to this particular um, equation. But remember, I've not done anything with this particular one. So let me pick this now. I will do it here. I'm going to do it here now. So we have k squared minus 4 equals 0. k squared minus 4 equals 0. And from here again, I can still apply what we call difference of two squares. From here, I can apply what we call difference of two squares so that we have k squared minus 2 squares, 2 squared equals 0. And then I will do the same thing that I did before so that we have k, okay, k plus 2 into bracket k minus 2 equals 0. And then from here, I believe that either of them is equal to 0. So I'm going to have k plus 2 to be equal to 0 or k minus 2 to be equal to 0. From this side, k will be equal to, okay, I can claim this now. From this side, k will be equal to 0 minus 2 and that will give us minus 2. Or on this other side, k will be equal to 0 plus 2 and that will give us plus 2. So therefore, we now have four roots to the equation, which are k is equal to 2i, comma, we also have minus 2i, comma, we have minus 2, and plus 2. 
if you like to remove the positive there, we have plus 2. So these are the four roots of the equation. Thank you for watching. God bless.